Hello and welcome back for another tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So this is the first video that I've given for the new syllabus and I'm going to start with grade 6 clarinet as I didn't cover that much on the previous syllabus actually. So I'm going to dive straight in with some challenging repertoire out of this book and give you some tricks and tips and some help along the way with this music. Hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. So I think one of the first tips that I can give you with this piece, The Courant by Bach, is just get a bit of a feel for the genre. Now, as a clarinet player, of course, you may not have played any Bach before because Bach didn't obviously write for the clarinet. So have a listen to one or two performances of this. Don't just download the ABRSM version. Have a listen to it on the violin. Um, now in the description, if you go in there, I'm leaving a link there to Hilary Hahn playing that on violin. A lovely performance actually. And, and it would just give you a real insight as to the, the original composition and give you a much better feel for the tempo as well. Which leads me on to talk about the tempo. Now this is one of those rare occasions where I feel that the tempo that they've indicated here, the 92, it does say around 92, but I feel that is just slightly under tempo. I think if you play it at closer to 100, you'll find that the legato is has just got a much freer sort of sound to it, and it just bounces along a little bit nicer. So let's talk about some of these rhythms. So a lot of dotted semiquavers here, and and then mixed with a lot of legato playing as well. So I think when you're in the early stages of practicing this, really sort of separate those and just work on them individually. So, so I've got my trusty metronome here. I'm going to take a few passages on their own. I'm going to isolate some of those dotted quaver, semi quaver passages. And you'll just see how bouncy it sounds at this tempo. Perhaps a bar thirteen then. So I think you get the idea there. If you make that tempo drag too much, if you play it too slowly, it just loses the kind of the impetus a bit. It makes the breathing actually more difficult as well in some ways. And it just sort of drags along rather than kind of flows along. So I'm going to play a passage from bar 35 onwards and listen to the legato at this speed. It's really got a nice kind of shape to it. tricky playing it with metronome it makes it almost a, a little bit too strict but really good practice to do and notice some of those bars there if you just get the right tempo it just makes it sound so much more musical and so much more flowing and then you'll notice that I arrived at quite a tricky point in there on the C sharp trill now it's a bit of a stumbling block I think as you hit that on the clarinet because by the time you get to there, after you've played from the beginning, you're going to start to get a bit, a bit exasperated. So I think just be careful with those slightly tricky moments uh, where you breathe. Just make it sound like the breath really somehow belongs in there. So try not to just plough through it like playing it with a metronome. I think you've just got to convert it. Obviously, the piece is a, a string piece originally. You've just got to somehow convert it to a wind piece and make those breaths sound like they belong there. So this bit here, I played something like, and then have a, a quick breath there. I think if you don't, just don't take that extra little bit of time and make the breath sound like it belongs in there, you're gonna get very, um, very out of whack with the breathing and it's all going to fall apart quite easily. 
So just be conscious of that. And there's some other moments, isn't there? Let's go back to bars 17, 18 and 19. Here again, when you hit that low G sharp, I think it's, if you try to just plow through it and play it exactly like a metronome, I think you could you could hit some sticky moments. Uh, so maybe, and then just take a, a split second there, have a little bit of time. Again, you know, perhaps you don't need that much amount of time in there, but I think just be careful, make it sound like that breath belongs in there and don't try to just sort of hurtle your way through the music. So again, convert it to a wind piece and remember that it is not originally a clarinet piece. So I think basically we can summarize the difficulties by saying that we need to know a little bit about this genre. Make sure you know the original piece of music. Have a listen to a few performances of it. Make sure you are trying to convert it to a clarinet piece. So make it sound, you know, make it sound authentic, but also try and make it sound like it is a clarinet piece of music somehow. And really work on making the legato passages really smooth and even. I noticed when I was in the early stages of playing this, when I played it through the first few times, just getting the dum, the dum, the dum, the dum, getting those all kind of sounding the same was challenging as you go. Actually, some of those intervals are more tricky than others. So just be careful with that. And I think it's just one of those pieces. Again, I mentioned that you can you can play it a hundred times and it can sound different every time. I think that's part of the magic of this music is you're never kind of finished with it. You know, you can you can just keep on practicing it and make little tweaks and improvements to it. So I hope that was useful to you. And of course, if you have stayed and listened to the tutorial, then of course, leave me a comment in that section below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you get future updates of tutorials that I do. And, but I think that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.